All right, everybody. Hello, it's Learning Celtic Languages here, and today we will be doing our first les lesson in Welsh. It appears I've become Sean Connery now. First and foremost, we must do pronunciation because Welsh has some very odd letters and combinations of letters. Well, mostly just combinations of letters. Firstly, if you see a double L, now this is the most famous uh, thing in Welsh, I guess you could say. The most famous feature of Welsh is its double L, which is pronounced as in llaw, which means lion. And uh, it's a very odd sound, and it took me quite a while to actually get to pronounce it at all, because all the videos on how to do it was very confusing for me. I guess I just sort of figured it out one day though and realized that I was doing it right. It might take you a while before you can actually pronounce this sound, but what I would suggest doing is to press the t your tongue near the roof of your mouth while trying to make like a huh, 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 huh. huh. So it makes it already makes like a la sound just because your tongue is near the top of your mouth. And excuse me if you hear any breathing, my dog is sleeping right there. So <clears throat> anyway, there's also quite a few other differences in Welsh as well. For example, there is the W, which is uh, pronounced oo rather than wa. There is the Y, which is pronounced I rather than Ya. And there is the R, which is a tapped R, which isn't a rolled R like Spanish, Ra, or a um, Germanic R, I'll call it, or, uh, like in English, Ra, uh, but rather a tapped R, Ra. So a good example of combining uh, some of these sounds would be Dur, dur, which is Welsh for water, coming from Proto-Celtic meaning deep. And some other sounds that are different as well is we have I, which I believe is sometimes pronounced like an E and sometimes pronounced like an I, as well as U, which is sometimes like an U and sometimes like an U. Uh. So do please take notes that double D makes a the sound, like in the word the, and TH makes a th sound as it does in English, just minus the the, and take that over to double D. Some other things you might want to note about Welsh is it is very different grammatically from English. First and foremost, it's a verb subject object language, meaning that the verb is at the beginning of the sentence. So, as in most Celtic languages, in fact, have this, if not all of them. I may be wrong about that. Uh, I think especially Gaulish, considering Gaulish, I believe, sometimes had a subject-verb-object order like English. But a verb-subject-object order means you say the verb first, the subject of the sentence second, and the object of the sentence third. So, for example... Our infamous sentence of he kicked the ball would become kicked he the ball. And this works in f noun phrases too, meaning that uh, the subject doesn't just have to be one word like boy, or it could be the boy. The, so you wouldn't say the kicked the uh, boy the ball. If you were going to say it correctly, it'd be kicked the boy the ball, if you were to say the boy kicked the ball. I know it's very confusing, but uh, perhaps it'd be easier if you I replaced the first the with an A. Well, either way, there's a secondary th uh, note to take on Welsh, and that is consonant mutation. To put it simply, consonant mutation is more or less when the first consonant in a noun usually is altered slightly or changed uh, to where it makes a different sound. It's a, it is a different consonant. This happens in a number of occasions in Welsh. 
and we th will go into more detail on that in episode two. But that's all for now this time, guys. I'll probably see you again in the next episode sometime this week.